What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know it's me, Jerry, and you're watching Where's Garage. I got a video for you guys on how to install the head unit on your Mazda Speed 3. Uh, I've been waiting to get this for a while. I've been looking at it for a while and uh, seeing it, you know, it was Christmas time and they had it for a good deal. So I pulled the trigger and got it. So I'll show you guys how to put that on and yeah, let's get to it. All right, this is the unit right here. Open it for you guys. This is a thank you card. I opened it earlier, but this is a thank you card. And uh, here's the... Uh... All right, guys, this is it right here. This is the head unit. Looks good. Uh, this is the uh, the newer version one. So this uh, so I went ahead and got the newer one. I was gonna get the one with the that had the CD player on it, but hey, it has net. You can get Netflix. Um, you can put a USB to have like a, with movies on. You can play it like that. So I was like, hey, I'll just get the newer one and just do that. But yeah, it goes perfect with your head unit like this. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to put that on. Show you what to do. Um, okay. and it comes with it. The deal that was, it came with um, free, three, three free things, or uh, three things. Um, one was a rear, the rear view camera, which I, I don't need that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that on. But uh, I go get them. It's in the house. I go get them to show you guys. And it comes with a dash cam. I probably put the dash cam on, but not in the. I'm not gonna show how to do it in the video. I'm, I'm not gonna put it on. Well, I'll see how it goes. I might put it in, the, put it on, and show you guys. So you have to put the route it all under here, then go through the pillar. There's a mic that goes right here too. A mic that goes here. You put in the pillar right here. You can set it a sticker, and there's the the camera that goes through over all through here. Then you just make it routed and put it in front of your mirror. But to there, this is the wires and stuff like that, power cables and stuff like that. So that, but let me, I'll, I'll show you the camera and stuff like that. Let me go, let me go get them. Go in the house and go get them. I'll be right back. All right, the one gift it gave comes with, uh, it comes with like an OBD2 uh, advanced um, little thing you put in your OBD2, check it in and your, the, the deck can, uh, uh, you can see like if you have chicken light and stuff like that. Uh, but I mean, Mazda Speed, if you have Mazda Speed and you have a cop access port, really this, you don't really need it because you have access port, which I have that. But I mean, it comes in handy though to have it though. There's no, I can put it with it if I end up selling a car or something, take everything out. Or whatever but I don't know this is the um, rear view camera right here that you, it came with for free um, like I said I'm, I don't need this so this probably just be in the package and let, I'll leave this alone I don't know maybe later on I put it on the car later on I just don't feel like routing this all the way to the back of the car and find a mountain point and stuff like that so I'm gonna feel like doing that and this is the dash cam this is a dash cam. See, there you go. Like I say, it's, it's the sticker, 3M. You put it like this. You put it like that, whatever. But like I said, I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put that on today or, or what. But uh, I'll show you guys what to, how to put it on. But what to do in the back of the head unit. But let's get going. Let's get this install video going and get back to you guys. All right, the first step you want to do is uh, it comes with a plastic tool, the pry up tool, the pry this up. You want to pry this, pry this up, um, take it up over the back, and there's, there'll be two fill up head screwdrivers right here, one right here, one right here. So you want a fill up head screwdriver, and yeah, you just be careful to pry this up. You don't want to break no tabs or nothing, but uh, let's get to it. Here's the two Phillips right here, one right here, one right there. You want to unscrew those, take those off. So I'll 
show you guys. One. There's two. So take those out. And two, this unit, uh, it works off your, if some other speeds, they don't have, um, I guess the Bose system. Uh, I guess that's a tech tech patch package. Mazda Speed. See, my car has. See, my car has the Bose uh, system. It's all the way around. Combines a tech package. Um, some Mazda Speeds don't have the I guess little navigation system, which my car has, and push and start. Um, but mine has all of it, so I'm, uh, all of that. Some speeds don't have the like the navigation, so this head unit would be perfect for you guys. The ones that don't have the head or the navigation system, and it shows the instruction shows. Oh, I got that in the house too. But there's um wires that's for Ma Mazda speeds without the navigation or the the Bose system, but which mine has the Bose system, so of course I'm gonna be using that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just letting you guys know when you guys order you guys is in um, For the ones that don't have the both um, set up in the navigation system, but let's get back going to the stall So I took the two bolts off one right here one right there now this comes pulled back so I'm gonna put you guys down and um, pull it back Yeah, just, I, I did, what I did, I just put my two fingers in the back right here. I went like this and just pulled back. Kind of pulled down and back. And two, when you're doing this, uh, unplug your battery. I just did put, uh, disconnect just one of the sides and, uh, cause if you're gonna put the mic and stuff like that into the pillar, there's an airbag in there. So if you don't want to do anything wrong then Next thing you know, the airbag's blowing up in your face, so unplug your battery before you do all this. But yeah, you just pull the system back, and there should be two, uh, three connectors. And uh, let's see if I can reach. Let me show you guys. See, there should be three, one right here, and one right here, and one right here. So there should be tabs back. All right, guys, have it out. Have the unit or the CD, my stocky CD deck out or head unit. See, here's the plug right here. There's another one, and here's the other one right here. Here's the unit right here. Have it all right here. Uh, so, yep, put that to the side and. and to the next part right, you take this the main power this is the main power wire this is your canvas uh, this goes into the big one but you plug this this one right here to right here put that make sure That's in. Make sure nothing else. This right here goes right here. It's for your radio. Let's see. And so this, what's cool about it, it shows um like the uh, um label, like it shows labels to what goes to what. Let's see. This is for the rear, the rear camera. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna be doing the rear camera right now. I don't, like I said, I don't want to feel. I don't feel like rounding things back all the way to the back. The same with the um, dash cam. Probably do dash cam later. But yeah, this uh, go to your. You see your video output two, uh, video output uh, video out one, and it shows labels to the other core. I don't know where it's at, but I'll show you guys. Um, but and this, I'm looking up this. This is for like, uh, but like your, um, for like speakers you put in back, like subs or something. See, it says subroof, woofer. See, um, 
that's just for that if you got like a a box a sub box whatever uh, unit you can hook hook your stuff up to this now this is what i'm thinking that this that's what these are for you won't be using the, only these right here uh but yeah uh, i have more package wires and stuff in the package so uh I'm gonna put put them all together right here, all right here. Then I show you guys and get back to you guys and show you what what goes to what. All right, um, all right, guys. Remember, I'll check about the some of these monster speeds is, doesn't have the Bose um, speaker set up. So all right, when you get yours, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be connected like this. This white right here, this cord right here, white cord. It's gonna be connected. Now I looked it up into the instructions. Now see, look. See, the instruction says. Uh, the wiring method without Bose system. So that's for cars. It's showing you guys what what to do with the without the Bose. This one, which that's what my car is with Bose. See, it says the top wiring method with Bose system. Now, you see number two it says non Bose auto uh, auto uh, output. You take that up. You take that off, which is this one right here. It's when you get yours, it's gonna be connected already. You take this off. You unplug it, and you see the one that says five, which five, Bose audio output, which is this one, which is this one. Um, you take this apart, uh, unclip it, clip them off, take them off, and you put the other end to this. And this just hangs, because this is for cars, Mazas, um, with, without bowls. And this is this thing unit fits Mazas, just the, the regular Mazda 3 and Mazda Speed 3. Um, but like I said, some Mazda speeds do not have Bose system. So you want to, uh, if you don't have Bose system, you leave this on here. If you don't have the Bose system, if you do have Bose system, you take this off and you add this on, you add this. Uh, so I'm going to do that and show you guys. All right. I got like, uh, like I was showing you guys earlier. See, this is the non Bose connector. You, uh, take it off and you put the one with Bose. See the one with Bose come with these these connectors so you put you pretty much match them up together like i said like it shows like rear end line l or uh rear end l and you just hook it up to the white one see rear out l so that's these just go together they, sh they shows what goes to the see front in l and front out l so Pretty simple, you know, it's common sense, you know, you just put them with the black or uh, white, white with white, red with red, but make sure you look at these, make sure it's the same. It's going to say, like I said, it's going to say rear and at R. So this one is rear out R. So put on that. These, <clears throat> I want to say, because there's no other connectors, there's other few connectors, but <clears throat> uh, like I said, this is what I look on the instructions is what i'm seeing <clears throat> the wirings like stuff like this this is like my lowest end on it and i'm that i lack on i'm not good with wiring that's why i love stuff with this plug and play with wiring with this is stuff is this but this right here it says subwoofer see like i said subwoofer um this is those to the body the audio or the stuff for the bows so i'm guessing these or for if you have, like I said earlier, if you have a sub box, like a subwoofer with a box, you know, you got in, in the trunk or in the hatch, you hook it up to this stuff right here. So, to what I know, not going to need this. This right here comes with it too. It says aux. And it goes right here. It goes right here. But I have no other connector that goes on to this. I mean, you have this other one right here. It says ox. So I don't know if these goes together, but it's, it's no yellows or red, but uh, let's look more into it. But I'm thinking this is for stuff. If you hook like extra stuff to your to your radio, because I looked online to make sure I'm not missing nothing. And some people use like some guy used this, but he had it like drill this to hook up to hook up something else which I don't got that. I'm just doing it the stock way, you know, plug and play. I'm not hooking no extra stuff to it, low sub. So I'm guessing these are the extra stuff for the stuff or if you want to hook extra stuff to it. And it's like an adapter to, for the people that has non 
bows in their um, stuff. So I'm gonna set these two aside. Let's do my uh, more research on these. But as I know, was I have everything right, right here, like I showed you guys. Everything's right. This is your plug for your mic. Uh, so I'm gonna probably only uh, don't put the mic up and route it through here and find a way to go right up up here to up to the pillar to have it to right here um this is like a small space right now so i'm, I'm not gonna record uh me um, putting it on i mean i'll show you guys what i how i routed it and put it on but i don't have nowhere to put the, the camera at the show uh it's not much room in here um this is your it says carplay pretty much it's the usb um the extra usb this the car play that's just this the stuff if you want to hook like i said if you want to hook up like like uh there's two of them it should come where's the other one where's the other one oh right here Let's see it's already hooked, i have it hooked up right now but um it's pretty much the same as this it says car play um and this one just says usb but on the instruction it says just the same thing to usb one usb two so this stuff is the stuff that you want to drill a hole which i don't have a drill i might drill to just set these down right here and drill a hole and then yeah pull them through but you want to open your glove box and you want to drill a hole right here and you can see the hole come out from right here you just drag these inside boom you got your usbs in the glove department where you can change if you have a usb stick you can do that which, like I said, I don't have a so drill. Your, this is your Wi-Fi right here. It says GPS right here. So, you know, your GPS go right there. And, of course, the Wi-Fi goes on this one. So, you just go like this. Plug it in. You turn the, the little bolt or nut on it. Boom. Go like that. So the Wi-Fi is connected. This is your Wi-Fi right here. This is a Wi-Fi stick. This is your GPS right here. See, it has a little thing right here. You connect that, and they put the GPS same under here. Like you can't, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a thing right here. And you can set it, set it right there. Some people put it on top of this. Um, I might do that. I might put it on top here, but I don't know. I want it clear as possible, you know, but um yeah that's what you can do right there so i'm gonna do that and um when i hook all this up, i'm gonna hook up the mic then like i said I'm gonna route it see what way to route it from here under here i know that i gotta open the door to uh, route some things up here and so it can go up to your pillar the mic's supposed to be uh be mounted right here uh this is i think there's a sticker the 3m sticker my cat is uh, being nosy, but um, yeah, this is the mic right here. See, there's a 3M sticker on it. Like I said, you just route it up and you stick it about like right here in the corner. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that, wrap everything up, and then I get back to you guys. All right, guys. So this is the part where you drill a hole. It's about like right, about like right here. You drill the hole, this is the size right here. The size you wanna use, that's enough, that's the, they said the size. That size is perfect for the USB to go in. See, I have the USB, where is it at? It's somewhere right there. But you, you just put it where you can drill a hole and then you just bring it out here and then you can use like your USB stick to put through here and then just set it in your glove department. So I'm gonna drill that right now and get back to you guys. USB stick so make sure and make sure again the USB that goes through here is the CarPlay one 
and there's gonna be another USB that just says USB that USB connects to the dash camera right there which I don't have it have it on yet well I have it, everything hooked up but uh, I want to figure out how to turn it on so I can see where they mount up on the window my mic is right there I already put the mic on everything's all routed up so yep that's how you and these these um i could be wrong like i said it's just me you can do your own research and just make sure but these are these is for uh this extra stuff is for like um like i said the sub one this right here the blue one the extra ones is for if you have a like a sub box like a subwoofer box and this is for if you have like an amp and stuff like that so you hook the amp up and you brought the, the wires and stuff to the amp to this. So this is what these is for. So I don't need it because I don't have an amp and I don't have a sub box, but I have the Bose speakers with this Bose setup is already hooked up. So everything's good to go. All right, guys, I have everything installed. I'm making this video because I installed the dash cam. So I want to show you, show you guys what to do. And two, it doesn't come with the dash cam there's a micro chip that goes on the side of this so you want to buy you want you want to buy one a micro chip or maybe you already have one and you put it on the cap the camera so what you do is you go here you go to apps and this you won't have to, it won't show this it won't show this uh yet so what you do is you go to apps and you want to go to file management then you click on this right here you click on that then it's going to tell you do you want to install the XCD VR which I'm not going to do it because I already did it but once you install it once you when you install it, it will say like um, well it's kind of says you, you know what to do after that it would tell you you want to do this and this and two it's going to say something about allow you allow whatever I forgot what it said but you want to allow it so you're going to say something right here so you're going to press allow then done but you click on that then install then you go back you go back then it's gonna be in your app so when you go over it, it might be somewhere right here but when you go over it's gonna be right here so you click on that then boom that's gonna say before this shows up it's gonna say like allow it and smell stuff first before you do it but, but once you do it then this will come up then boom you set my video cameras on and see it records it's recording right now you can put like minimize the video like that. Um, oh, let me go back. Still kind of used to it, but yeah, you can do that. Then you just click on the, the screen. Then there's like this. So she is showing it's recording. So I'm just gonna delete it. You can delete it, or you can uh, go to images. Which you go to images, you click on the, you click on it. Then you can take pictures. See, watch. Boom. See, it says took a picture. Then you want to look at it. You go to right here, play go to images then the images are right there but like I said I'm oops uh, I'm still trying to get used to it oh it's, it's showing the the picture that's what it's doing uh, there's no neck so yeah just go back and then I'm just gonna delete it just swipe over to the to the left and delete but yeah that's that's how you set your 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 um your camera up uh, your dash cam up that's how you guys do it in the video that's how you do it so thanks for watching you guys already know my name is jerry thanks for watching where's garage and i have another video for you guys for something else i'm not gonna tell what it is but i have something else coming for you guys so stay tuned everyone be good be safe out there and happy new year's